Welcome to Legendary Studios. Today we are looking at 10 great games with terrible names on Legendary Tech. So today we have come up with a list, five each, Flash and I That's here, correct. of 10 games that, well, the name has a little, something to be desired. And so, but the game itself is pure gold. And so we thought we'd go through our, our five each today and and uh, walk you through some, some games that don't give up on just because of the name. That's right, absolutely. So we're gonna start with an honorable mention first, uh, only because we love the game. We do. We haven't we do. played it very much. We've had a couple go rounds, but it's just not enough to like pass full judgment. The game is Shazen. Enough sure. said. You decide. <laughs> All right. Do you want to start? The choice is yours. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to start with Number one. Uh, one of uh, a classic. Okay. It's a Carcassonne. What, what's a Carcassonne? Like honestly, Carcassonne. It's a city. Right? What? It's a city. It's a city. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a really famous city. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it, but I love the game. Okay, the game is great. Tile laying game. Uh, you know, you you just it's a bunch of tiles. There's lots of there's lots of different expansions. Uh, it's Apparently, fun. you haven't it's played a, yet. It's a fun game. This was your your <laughs> game actually. <laughs> Might as well use the boxes as he would say. It's well loved and That's broken fair. in. Uh, lots of masking tape of mine, but no, this is pristine. <laughs> as you can see, this is not one of Flash. This is my list. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but a great game, Carcassonne. Don't overlook it. Enjoy it. It's not bad. I remember when we started, it was fun. It was great. Yeah, and I feel like I outgrew the game. Ah, I still like to play it. So my number five game is Pax Pamir Second Edition. Not a great name. Don't forget the second edition. Yeah, so Pax means peace. Uh, Pamir is actually a mountain range in Tajikistan. Mm. So uh, this is one of the Sierra Madre game series. Okay. And so there's Pax Porfiriano and Pax Renaissance, I think all equally badly named <laughs> because the, it doesn't do the game Take justice. your pick, folks, take your pick. For sure. So uh, look online, this game is highly reviewed. Everybody who, who plays it loves it. Uh, it's a market game where you get a, a, a queue of cards right. and um, it's an area control game. Nato and I, I think, have dabbled into this one, We've if dabbled. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Maybe even you and I, two or yeah, the three of us, so. uh, we tried. And this one comes from Cole Worley, who also did Root and Oath. So you know it's a good game design getting quality. when he's behind it. Yeah. So absolutely beautiful little card market game, area control. Uh, it's alliterative. It's got that. Pax, Pax Premier, Premier. And but, you are uh, an English guy. That's so. all it's got going for it. <laughs> that's wise. about it. Yes. Yeah. What's a Pax and what's a Premier, right? And actually, something I'd like to challenge our audience to do right now Please do. is to rename each of the games on our list. Clever. So um, if you've played Shazen, what would you call it? Pax, please, Pax Pamir. I'm going to say right now, don't go there. Okay. Just don't go there. <laughs> what do you got next? Uh, the next one I have up is, okay, and you, you'd see the original, you'd start with Twilight Struggle, you're thinking, great, no problem. Yeah, perfect. Then you get to Red Sea and you're like, okay, right. okay, Red Sea. That's magical. And then you get to it. Conflict in the Horn of Africa. 10 words. It needs to be in the whole title, right? It's got to be. So why? Yeah. Why, right? Like, you know, right. you had well, me well, at Twilight you've, you've got branding. You got branding. You've got, yes. Yeah. You've got even in, in Twilight, even Red Sea. Like, no problem. But then. So I struggle Red Sea. Done. But you know what? Great game. Great game. Yeah. Love this game. NATO and I had a go through of it um, a while back. Really enjoyed it. Love Twilight Struggle. And this is, you got to have it in your, your collection if you like Twilight Struggle. It's a great game. Cool. Just didn't love the name. So the next one on my list, I uh, really enjoyed playing this game. It's Hansa Teutonica from mm. 2009, fairly old. Sloppy. Yeah, it's it's not a great name. Sloppy. So it's Latin for German, German Hanseatic League. Still bad. Yeah. Not no, fond of that. So um, there's a confederation of medieval market towns um, and these, the Hansa meant the fellowship in old high German. Anyways, it's a bad name. The box <laughs> is super short, ugly. Folks. I don't I don't own a copy of the game. I had it, played it with a friend, but yeah. um, the game was great. You're filling roots, uh, you're unlocking abilities, it's quick play, right. uh, and it's a game where you see everybody unlocking bonuses and you're wishing that you had done those moves. And, oh. um, I really like the game. Okay, so, so it was a good um, game. It was a good game. I'll, I'll say it, I've had limited play with the game, but it was fun, and I just didn't like the name. You would you would bring it to the table. I would again. Yeah, I think you'd enjoy it. Okay, that's that's a winner then. That's a winner. Maybe not the best name. What's up Speaking next? of not the best name, number three on my list, castles, castles. Even if they just stopped there, I think a lot no. of these titles, if they just stopped, 
But then they had to throw in of Mad King Ludwig. I respectfully disagree. Why? I, I like this title. I think it's original. I bought the game because I Because of the title? It sounds Come on cool. now. Like, it's no, like, no, 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 no. Who, who's this Mad King Ludwig and what castles right. does he have? I, it, and where does Ludwig show up in the game? Does Ludwig appear making a royal appearance? It's his castle. <laughs> You, you have to build the castle and he's crazy, so you have to it is, suit his You do build and say in castles, which does make this game fun. Why yes. is why it's on my list, because I love this game. I like it. What do you think of the sequel between two castles? The Mad sequel? King Ludwig, I think it's called. Or is it the castles of Mad Queen M M it's Gertrude? Not what, what, what's so weird off about this title for you? Ludwig doesn't play into the game. Ludwig okay. is just like a throw-in character's name. It could be any name. Okay. Sure. Sure. You know. Yeah, it could be any name. And uh, like the if it was just castles. Okay. Or the Mad Kings. I, I think Ludwig really bugs me. All Why right. Ludwig? That's fair. Where'd he come from? Who knows? Who can know these things? Except maybe Bazir Games. Maybe. So the, the next game, because these games need to be great games, this is one of my top ten favorite games of all time. I, oh. I gotta say, it's probably even in the top five. You really like it that much? I really like it's it. It's probably in the top five. And wow. I think my problem with the High name praise. Coo is that most people don't know how to pronounce it. It's Coop. They say Coop. Chicken Coop. And it sounds lame. We're getting ducks to but put it's in not. chicken coop. It's really good. You like it? I love it. Yeah? It's fantastic. Easy, quick, quick, yeah. quick play game. But I, what would you name Deception. it? Deception. Coup Reformation is the expansion. What about Deception? Deception, yes. Right there. In a single word. I think that name's taken, but um, it's still a great name. Deception. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes. It sounds more exotic. I love exactly. it. Exactly. All right. Oh, I see the next one coming. Get it down to it. Totally agree. One of the, one of my, actually, in my top five, probably. Maybe top ten. Acquire. Hmm. I love this game. Love it. In fact, so uh, my brothers and I, uh, we have board game nights, and the board game night always begins with a choir. And now you have, it looks like, is this the, this, this is not the original. No, this, this is, is the this, like, 80s or 90s, 70, I think. 80s, it, 90s edition, um, yeah. But it's got a the nice. Beautiful pieces here. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and the nice, you know, the buildings that go on there, the corporations. And this one's being reissued, but Come they, on. they haven't renamed it. They're not going to, they're leaving it a choir. Well, yeah. It's still a terrible name. It is a bad name. But a fantastic, actually, I'm gonna go, I'm yes. gonna a fantastic game. This Would this be top 10 for you? On my list? Absolutely, it, it, it's like edging the top five even. I love it, wow. I love it, I love Acquire. That's Great crazy, game. okay. Okay, how about you? Now another game that I know you have sentimental value for, Okay. the game is called Mill, oh, or Mill. Nine Men's Morris. Oh, Mill. Not Morris. a great name, um, but, but I actually wanted to mention why this one, where, where it comes from. So um, it's- it, it Nine was, Men's Morris. It was in the Roman Empire that the game was invented. It's also called Merrill's, Morell's, Nine Penny Marl, and Cowboy Checkers. They're, they're all kind of terrible names. They're all bad, yeah. for sure. None of these names do the game justice. It's a it's a great simple it game. It is, a little abstract, fun little Abstract game, game. yes, absolutely. Great. It's a positional dominance and game. you start sliding um, around. Incidentally, grows a, grows a three. the word Merrill's means game piece. Oh, so there it is. Yeah, either way, it needs a rebranding. Does need a rebranding. Fun little Keep game. Keep the game though. Keep the game as is intact, the gameplay. Absolutely. This is your last okay. pick. This now this, this is the game that's inspired this video because yeah. um, we've always laughed at the game, but now I've actually grown that I like this title. But So and I'm gonna just give a quick little preface on this game. Uh, NATO said to me one night, do you want to sit down and play a game about making wine? I was like, Ah, yeah. no, but then he's like, you, you'll you want to try it. And I did try to, and I loved it. I loved it. And we've played it. Despite the name. You hate, you don't drink. You've never had a sip of wine. I have. Yeah, but sip? I didn't like it. You, okay. You didn't That's like it, but you don't, you don't like wine. No. Um, I don't mind wine, but, uh, I don't like this name. Viticulture. Viticulture. Yeah. Terrible name. Great, name. great game. Another fantastic game, actually. I love it. Is, it. it is a great game. Uh, you know, For a worker it's placement worker game. Placement. I really like You're it. I'm a huge fan of worker placement. I don't right? love worker placements, but oh, yeah. I really like this one. And uh, just just all all through and through, fantastic. Stonemeyer did a great job on the game. I wish yep. maybe a different name. I don't know what you think. What, what, what do you think would be a good replacement? Actually, maybe again. Please, down below. Folks, we we need know. some help on these. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, Jamie Staber, if you want to even add, chime in your own two cents, please. <laughs> but as I say, I've gotten used to the name. And now when you say, do you want to play Viticulture? I'm like, yes. And so the name's grown on me. It does grow, yeah. But this was actually, like, yeah, this was the inspiration for 
uh, this whole video actually because I just thought you know what I wish I, I you know it's a great game and I don't what I really my biggest worry was that the Nate would turn people off. Yes. They would see it and they wouldn't want to play it, and it deserves to be played. It's a great game. Yes, it does. And yet, I would argue there is one game that is more poorly worse named in terms of its name. All right. Uh, oh, it's a hard call whether this is a better game or not. But the uh, game is Article 27. Article 27. <laughs> Article 27. Okay. So. What is that one? It, well, it's the United Nations Security Council game. Of course. Which makes it it's even actually, worse. It is a fun game. It's it, a, it is a fun game. I like it's, playing it. It's really great. So yeah. yeah. So it's actually based on the UN Charter of, of Rights. Because you have these little gavel things. You get to smash the gavel. You do, yeah. So you it's know? a negotiation game. But every And so just to give you a sense of what Article 27 means, it's every member of the uh, United it's Nations horrible. shall have one vote on procedural matters. That's Article 27. That's the basis of the game. So I'm, I'm just wondering, like, how can you look at it and say, that's the name of my game? You have these great that's little words. Going. Apologies if you're the, the designer who created this. To all of these games. We, we, to all these to, games. Yeah, that's fair. You know what, to all. Because we, we love them, better. but we really want we to do. showcase them because we don't want them to go on for, un, like, you know, for God. That's right. You barter, you bribe, you negotiate, you vote. It's a hoot. But even if you just called the game Veto. Article 28. <laughs> Still no. <laughs> no. Okay, we try. Can't do it. <laughs> All right. So that's the top. That's 10. our list. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And get out there. Be legendary.